Caught a vibe Baby, are you coming for the ride? I just want to look into your eyes I just want to stay for the night Night, night We take a drive Maybe we can hit the four or five Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amara and I am a yoga teacher and soul coach based in Dubai. And welcome to today's weekly vlog. This is a very exciting weekly vlog because it is my birthday week. Um, I have popped in a I have popped in a few clips of what's been going on earlier in the week. Um, but it is now Wednesday and I have been teaching yoga this morning and I am home now and I think the vibe is going to be honestly this week is I feel like one of my favorite weeks because I've been going for lunch with friends and I've been I went to Pilates yesterday and I think today I'm gonna bake cookies I'm gonna buy some candles I've got a client this evening a soul coaching client um, which is always lovely always puts me in the best mood so yes a lot of work to do but balancing that with the fun things to do I also have at least one class to film today as well so we shall see how it goes. Um, what else have we got planned this week? Tomorrow I am back at the studio and I will film what's going on there. I think we're gonna do some birthday celebrations. And then I need to go and get some things sorted out for my cake. And then Friday is my birthday. And then I'm celebrating it on Saturday. It is a full birthday week and I love it. I do, it's July, I'm a Cancerian, but the rest of my chart is very much Leo. And so I'm feeling that survived my birthday this year, which is very exciting. I'm loving all the happy birthday vibes and it's just so nice um, to have so many people to celebrate with because that doesn't always happen when you've moved somewhere new. So yes, let's jump straight into the rest of this week. from the shop, did a food shop, got some ingredients for vegan cookies, so I'm gonna make them. And um, bought some new candles, had some nice lunch, did a little bit of work. The work I'm working on is very exciting. It's a new free offering, but it's taking an awful lot of time, longer than I expected. Um, but I'm now back. I've got a client this evening, but I wanna bake my cookies first. <laughs> but before I do that, I really wanna show you this outfit because I actually got it from a giveaway and I'm obsessed. Let me show it to you because I am in love. Honestly, I think these could be my new favorite like neutral cream leggings. I am actually so obsessed. I have been struggling to find, I don't know if anyone's the same, white creamy colored leggings that just fit really nicely, aren't super see-through, aren't, I don't know, I just feel like white's a tricky color, but I am in love with these ones. They're from actually a Dubai brand called Hatchet Active and 100% sustainable, which makes me so happy. Um, but the fit is honestly so nice. They're like the most lovely, like sandy color. And I just love them. I think they're so flattering. They're perfect for obviously yoga. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. I really love them. I think they've got like some nice seaming detail, which I love. Um, and then there's also the matching bra, which is honestly so nice. I actually can't wait for them to come out with more colors because it's definitely being added to the active wear favorites. And I just think this outfit is so cute. It's very much like studio to street. And I love it because it's so hard to find like properly sustainable brands like I know we all know that some brands say they're sustainable and they're not but with this one I'm just I really 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 do love it and the girl who has created them is so lovely and yeah I'm also just really loving local Dubai brands this top is from a local brand here as well they all ship worldwide but they're local here which is kind of nice I feel like that in itself is somehow more sustainable too but I just cannot stop singing praises over this Hatchet Active set. It's soft, it's so flattering, it's true to size, it's just honestly lovely. It's the leggings I didn't know I needed, but I wear white leggings so much with um, our yoga teacher training courses because we always wear white for opening and closing ceremony. So these are so unbelievably perfect. They're flattering on the bum. Honestly, I just love them. 
Um, I feel like I'm gonna be living in these all the time. They're the leggings my wardrobe was missing, which I just love. But anyway, finished raving over my new outfit, which I love. It's like an early birthday present. Let's, let's get baking. I'm gonna make another cup of tea. And yeah, I've just realized, however, I don't have any measuring cups, I don't think. So the question is whether or not to order them. I might order them. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll start baking. Okay, see you in the kitchen. <laughs> Good morning guys, I feel like the camera may fog up, um, but we are on our way to graduation ceremony for this yoga teacher training group, which is exciting. Are we beginning to fog? No, I think we're doing okay. So I'm all in my whites today, I've made vegan cookies, and I think there may be some almost birthday celebrations, so my birthday is tomorrow, but I'm feeling excited. I can't tell if I'm in focus or not. I think I am um, but yes then the plan is I need to go and buy some flowers to put on my cake um, I need to deliver that to the cake people and then there's quite a lot of filming to do today as well I need to film a class with a full moon next week so busy day but a good day so let's get going lot longer at the studio this morning than I sort of planned to and I'll be honest no work has happened afterwards I think I'm in full birthday mode I had an early birthday celebration this morning which is very exciting and um what else am I doing today I've washed my hair which is lovely um and the plan is actually a really busy evening which is not was not the plan at all it's now six o'clock and I needed to, I was actually teaching this evening, but I'm now not because it got canceled. There weren't any bookings, which is fabulous news because I have so much to do this evening. I need to pop to a supermarket because I'm looking for edible flowers to put on my birthday cake because I'm having a birthday lunch on Saturday. So I need to give it to the cake people so they can put it on the cake. Um, but I want blue ones. And they're a pain to find. Edible flowers, especially in Dubai, are a bit tricky to find. So I've been to one supermarket and got some, but they're not the colour I necessarily want. So I'm going to try another supermarket this evening and then I need to drop them off to the cake people. They stay open really late. They stay open until like 10. So I need to drop them off to them. So yes, I think that's the plan. I'm also going to pick up Jake from work this evening. However, I left gosh there's an awful lot of cake today um the studio brought me cake and I actually left at the studio thinking I was going back for my class this evening and we would have another slice then but my class has been cancelled but I'm still going back to pick up my cake um because I want it and it's lovely and they wanted me to go and pick it up because they didn't want anyone else to have it um so yes yeah, so that is the plan it's a bit awkward because the studio it's not it's really not far it's like 20 minutes away um whereas everything else is like five minutes away so it's fine we'll pop we'll get the cake we'll then pop back and i think i'm gonna head to i think i'm gonna go to the waitrose in the mall we live really close to the waitrose in the mall so i think i might just go there there is also a birthday present which is in the mall that i'm by myself it's my birthday gift to myself and i am thinking about whether or not i'm going to get it for myself i was planning on going to the mall tomorrow and going in to get it but if I'm going this evening maybe I do it this evening and don't get it tomorrow that's what I'm thinking we'll see we'll see how we do with timings if it's I don't really want to be doing it if I'm tired and it's a bit later but this is one of the funny things with Dubai is that I feel like usually in my vlogs I am very much like in bed by eight um which is very much me but if you are the sort of person that loves, it's a bit of a night owl, Dubai is like, it enables it so much. Like, 
feel like my day is starting now and it's six o'clock because I've got so many like mini errands to run that I should have done throughout the day. Um, but Dubai is still awake for me to do them now, which is crazy. But yes, that is the plan. And then I haven't really decided what I'm doing tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go for at least lunch with a friend. We might go flower arranging, but I need to arrange that. Honestly, the time has run away from me this week. And then I really want to spend the morning having just like a meditation practice. I feel like I haven't actually, I've neglected my own yoga practice and stuff a little bit this week. So the morning is full on self care vibes, a deep meditation, connecting to my guidance, sort of thinking about any guidance for the year ahead. Um, my guidance for 24, I'm turning 25, but my guidance for turning 24 was so unbelievably clear and like potent, I guess. Like it was just so accurate and it was always, it was like predicted to be, we're getting very into this now. I'm stuck in traffic because so it's fabulous, but it was predicted to be like this age of light. And that was the card I kept pulling around this time last year was the age of light card, the age of light card. And of course that was when I was deciding to change career um, and whilst I feel like sort of my year of being 24 was really transformative I feel like the year of turning 25 is going to be all about like integration and I've really grown in the past year and it's now time to just like settle into who I truly am instead of I feel like when you're younger you're always trying to be something that you're not or you're figuring out who you are and I feel like this age of 25 is me figuring out who I am so yes it's a lovely long ramble for a trafficy Thursday evening drive <laughs> I've had a lovely morning, a bit of a slow morning, which is nice. Had a lay in. I got myself a matcha. Me and Jake went for like a morning coffee, and I am now actually off to go and buy myself a birthday present at the mall, and then going for lunch. Having a lovely day so far. I'm actually wearing one of my birthday presents now, which is a new skirt. But yes. On the camera now we are uh, I went and got my present to myself this is it it is my first like semi designer purchase which is huge because Amara of last year would not even have dreamt of that but yeah very very happy I think it's beautiful I love it and I am now um, just going for lunch with one of my friends and I'm at a really lovely new spot I haven't been here before but it's been on my list so I'm very excited so I will take you with me Hello guys, walking again. Um, I had a very lovely time at lunch. It was really nice. I haven't been there before, but it was stunning. We did eat an awful lot though, so I'm feeling very full. So I am now actually just, I'm going up to the gym, not to actually go to the gym. I'm just gonna walk on the treadmill for a little bit because it's so hot in Dubai that we can't actually walk outside. And I feel like I need to move. <laughs> and then I brought my yoga mat with me as well so I can flow. Um, we go out this evening as I said our flat is it's a little bit smaller and when it we don't have the balcony space outside in the summer because it's Dubai heat um, it gets a little bit cramped and I quite like a lot of space to flow so coming up to the gym to do that Baby, are you coming for the ride? I just wanna look 
into your eyes. I just want to say. And just like that, it is Monday, and all the birthday celebrations are finished. I'm really glad to be back to normal. Um, it is a bank dog holiday here in Dubai, so it's still quite quiet, but I've had the most lovely birthday and weekend, and I'm just feeling so unbelievably grateful. I feel like birthdays are a very sort of sacred and special time, right? Because it comes around, it's that time to really reflect on the year that's passed and how far I've come, and I always am very emotional around my birthday, less so this year, but it was honestly looking on, I turned 25 this year and the year of being 24, it was the most transformative year of my life. Like the way my life looks now compared to how it looked a year ago. I literally remember on my birthday last year that I had had like the most horrible day at my job that I was working at that was making me really, really ill. And I remember just thinking like, oh, I just, I don't have the energy to do it anymore. I just wanted to go home and sleep. That was my idea of just like a relaxing evening at the time. And honestly, looking at my life now, like I quit my job, I changed careers, I started becoming self-employed. Honestly, it is insane. I now have a job that is so aligned with my soul. And I know that sounds cheesy, but so aligned with my soul. It lights me up, it makes me feel so happy, it doesn't drain me. And then also just the fact that I haven't even lived in Dubai for a year and was surrounded by so many people who I love and adore for my birthday and had so honestly the most birthday wishes I've ever had. Um, that is just so special. Finding my community and finding a space where I feel like I can just be me and it's appreciated and I don't feel like I have to do anything that I'm not and for me that is so unbelievably huge so very emotional over this birthday it's just even going and treating myself to that gift that I got myself which was by no means anything crazy cute but for me to even buy myself something like that I would never normally do that but I don't know I feel like the year of 25 is really Settling into who I am, my clip keeps banging on the wall. <laughs> Settling into who I am as a person, sort of integrating everything I've learned through the past year and then a huge expansion. I can feel that this is going to be, whilst 24 was transformation, this is going to be a real year of just like, now that I've remembered who I am, coming back and really expanding into that and being myself and I just love that and I'm so excited about it and I think channeling a lot into community because that really does make me so it fills me out with joy community so both online and in person and yes with that being said if you're still here thank you you're part of that community that I am hoping to grow and build and nurture which makes me so so grateful but thank you guys so much for watching I am now chugging along with some work here with a free offering that's coming really, really soon. I'm about to film a really beautiful yin class for it. So keep an eye out for that. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, lots of info will be there. So pop over to Instagram and follow me there. If you want to put my email list, let me know and you'll get all the updates. If you want to follow with me online, we can also do that. There's so many ways for us to connect, which I love. But otherwise, I hope you have the most beautiful, week, day, evening, morning, whatever it is, and I am sending you so much love. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.